Yes, I am wearing a mask. Um, because I haven't had COVID yet. <laughs> um, I just want the first time I get it to be from somebody special. You know? I'm saving myself. I want to look deep and long into their eyes. As they projectile cough right into my mouth. So hot. Uh, I have kind of a strange name, Frida Wolf. Uh, my first day at a new job, someone asked me, Oh, is that your real name? Or is that like your role-playing name? <laughs> Do you think I would choose Free Da Wolf? I sound like I'm an energy drink. Inside of you, there are two wolves, and they're both thirsty for Free Da Wolf! <laughs> Nope. Uh, in my case, my last name is Wolf to let everyone know that my dad was Jewish and that I am freakishly hairy. Uh, I think the Nazis are going to be really confused about what to do with me because, uh, like I said, my dad was Jewish, so I look Jewish. That means under the mask I have a big nose. Okay, work with me here. And uh, my mom was Mexican, so I speak Spanish. So, are the Nazis going to round me up and kill me or... Have me clean Tucker Carlson's house. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in 2024. Really fun time to be alive right now. Um, I know I'm a little overdressed for this thing, looking like Liza Minnelli up here. Um, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm having a great time getting dressed up right now. I stopped wearing a bra. Because I had a mastectomy for breast cancer. <laughs> Um, which was great because my boobs were trying to break my back. In the second grade, I had B cups. In high school, I had double Ds. By the time they came off, they were double Gs. They do go up that high. Um, did you know most people can see their own feet? Because I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I was shocked. Um, I'm about to have my mastectomy scar tattooed over. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> but uh, it has come to my attention that most people don't know that good tattoos cost real money. Seriously. <laughs> For the amount of money that I have spent on my tattoos, I could own several luxury handbags. So all this to say what you already know, costs a lot of money to look this cheap. Uh, Tattoo artist asked me how old I was. I said, I'm 40. He goes, wow, that is crazy, because uh, women usually stop getting tattooed once they have kids. I said, yeah, I don't have kids. He is shocked that a 40-year-old woman doesn't have children. Of course, I don't have kids. I am blowing all of my money on getting tattoos. Because <laughs> see, when I choose to make mistakes, I get mistakes that I can get lasered off. But once you have a kid, it's not like you can cover it up with another kid that looks better <laughs> or was designed by more talented sperm. You are stuck with that thing, I'm sorry. Uh, clearly, I am not afraid of needles, but my veins are, it's very fun. I have what's called rolling veins, so that means my vein will jump out of the way of a needle like the needle is an oncoming car. It is so bad when I try to give blood. A nurse said to me, uh, yeah, you, uh, you'd fail if you ever tried heroin. <laughs> I'm also allergic to beer. I have a medical condition called, I am not cool. <laughs> uh, like I said, I, I don't have kids. I do have pets, but kids and pets are really similar, right? Like, you can give them both drugs, and they'll go away and entertain themselves for a little bit. Like with kids, it's sugar, you know? Give him a pile of candy, cut him loose, let him run around for a couple hours. You find him passed out on the ground, a little rim of chocolate around their mouth looking like a diabetic cherub. <laughs> so I sprinkle some catnip on the ground, my cat comes over, he starts rolling around it. He is splashing in a puddle of his own drool, he is living his best life on kitty cocaine. The dog has to have whatever the cat's having, so she comes over, I give her her own pile of blow, I finally get some peace and quiet, and my animals are reenacting Scarface on the kitchen floor. See, if I said this to child services, I'd have my kids taken away. But me, I'm just a really good pet parent. Uh, I don't regret not having kids. I do regret being what I call a fail lesbian. That means I'm queer. 
in case you're blind and can't see the stage, I guess. <laughs> Because I think being gay takes way too much work. You have to be on dating apps and go to gay clubs and be super hot and date all your exes' exes. And that's why I stayed basic. And I married two straight white guys in a row because they're everywhere, they're desperate, and they're just, oh, so happy to get consent. Thanks, I've been free that world. Bye!